Hey. Alrighty then. Let's have a little fun. What is that there? What does that say? It says the distance from Bahamas to Italy is 5,700, uh, 5,071.8 miles. Okay. It has it in kilometers and then it has it in nautical miles. In kilometers, it's 8,162.2. In nautical miles, all right, it is 4,404.3. See, now I can punch in on my keyboard anything I want to know and immediately, in less than a tenth of a second, it will give me the answer for any mathematical question. I can I can say you know what is the the height of the Empire State Building, what is the mileage from uh, Taiwan to Japan or Japan to Greenland, uh, I can ask it the temperature, how hot it is, uh, when it's going to snow. Do you understand me? Then there's another beautiful thing that Google has. All right, and it's on my phone. It's called Ask Google. Let's see how this works, shall we? Okay. Okay, Google. How tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 1,250 feet tall. Wow. See, what, no matter what I ask, I will get the answer in seconds, or less than a tenth of a second. Okay, Google, how far is it from Minnesota to New York? The drive from Minnesota to New York is 1,360.4 miles. No shit. That is fucked up. How far is it from, let's say, I don't know, Japan to Greenland? How about that? Okay, Google, how far is it from Japan to Greenland? The distance from Japan to Greenland is 8,011 kilometers. Holy shit, that fast. You see how fast that is? Now, <clears throat> you can ask this almost anything. You really can. The only thing you can't type in on any search engine on your fucking keyboard, on your fucking phone, you cannot ask Google only one thing. Now, trust me when I tell you, I can ask Google any fucking thing I want, in less than a tenth of a second, it will give me the correct answer. And either kilometers, nautical miles, miles, inches, doesn't fucking matter. The problem is, the only motherfucking thing it cannot give me the answer to is whenever I ask the curvature from point A to point B on any place on this globe. Okay, and I'm going to prove it to you. Now, for you dumbasses, that's 100% proof of the Earth being 100% flat because there's no answer to it. Now, this day and age, 2017, we have the technology to measure curvature. Okay, we have GPS, which can measure curvature. We have lasers, which can measure curvature. But there isn't any technology that we've used to actually get these figures or numbers. It's never been calculated because you can't type it into any search engine. You can't type it into any keyboard. Pick a, pick a search engine, pick a keyboard, pick a computer, use a NASA supercomputer. There is no such thing and no such answer for what is the curvature from New York to California? Hey? They're not going to give you an answer. Do you understand me? Now, if you go to any map made by any man on this earth, they have every bit of information you need on that map and every bit of information you don't need on a map. Coordinates, miles, uh, you name it. It's on the fucking map. Do you know what's not on these maps? Not on any map known to mankind. It never will be. There will never be a map made with, guess it, that's right, curvature. There's no map that shows the curvature on the map. Isn't that funny? There's no, it should be like, what's the curvature from fucking uh, Australia to United States or Taiwan? Doesn't matter because they're not going to give you the motherfucking answer. But you can ask Google any fucking thing else. 
And then immediately, what? I did it. I showed you. Let's do it again for fun. Okay, Google. Uh, what's the distance between Australia and California? IA? Here's information from distance from two. Okay, well, they didn't hear me right. Okay, Google. What's the mileage from California to New York? The drive from California to New York is 2,912.9 <gasps> miles. And what's the tall... Oh. And, okay, Google. What's the tallest building in Taiwan? According to Wikipedia, Taipei 101 displays the Petronas Towers as the tallest building in the world by 57.3 meters. Holy fuck. Thank you very much. Okay, Google. One more question for you. What's the curvature from New York to California? <laughs> it don't fucking know. Do you understand me? Now, it comes up with, with searches that have nothing to do with my question. Okay, Google. What is the curvature from Australia to Greenland? It's 88 degrees in Sydney right now. Oh, is it 80 degrees in Sydney right now? Well, what about the motherfucking curvature? Let's ask one more time. Okay, Google, what is the uh, curvature from Australia to the Bahamas? Doesn't have an answer for you. Okay, Google, what is the curvature from Kentucky to California? Do you understand this? This should be on every eight-year-old school kid's mind when the teacher goes, what is the curvature from New York to California? A, a little girl will raise her hand. That's an easy one. It's on all the maps. It's in all the textbooks. It's everywhere. Do you understand me? This information should be everywhere, and by all means, it should be on YKPDA. YKPDA should have instant access to it. Now, I challenge any stupid moron who believes the world's a globe to use their favorite search engine and find out any curvature from any place on this stupid earth, on this demonic realm that we live in, okay? You dumb fucktards don't understand that the curvature should be measured and instantaneously pop up on any surgeon. On any phone, the information, it should pop up immediately. Immediately. And it does not. Okay? Okay, Google. What is the curvature from Italy? Curvature, the fact of being curved or the degree to which something is curved. Right. Okay, Google. Is the Earth flat? According to Metro, here are 10 proofs that the Earth is actually flat, not round. A lot of people thought the fact that we all fly around in aeroplanes would put pay to flat Earth theory, the idea that our planet isn't a sphere, but instead a sort of pancake thing. <laughs> that was, that, I, 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 I swear to God, I didn't expect that answer. Fucking ask Google told me the Earth is flat. Now that's fucked up. That's a first. Okay, Google, what is the curvature from Italy to Taiwan? One euro equals 33 new Taiwan dollars and 93 cents. Okay. This thing has never gotten my voice wrong. I could have marbles in my mouth, and it understands every fucking thing that I'm saying. When it, only time it makes a mistake is if I put that little fucking word curvature. Okay, doesn't like that word. Doesn't know how to answer that. You understand me? I could have a, a whole slice of cake in my mouth, mumble something into Google, and it understands me. What it doesn't understand is curvature. Could not, there, it doesn't exist. We can measure curvature with 100 years ago, with the technology we had 100 years ago. Now, in 2017, we have the technology to measure curvature with GPS, with lasers, you name it. They got the technology to measure it. Only problem is it's never been done. 
When you go to YKPD and ask what's the coverage for your favorite country to your favorite country, it should give it to you in less than a tenth of a second. This information, like all other information, should already been Google searched a billion trillion times. It doesn't pop up because there is no answer when the Earth is 100% flat. No less than 100% flat. No less than 100, 100, 100% flat. Now, prove me wrong. Google it. Search it. Use Bing. Use Yahoo. Use any fucking thing you want to do. You ain't going to get no answer on curvature. You could get all the other information you want in less than a tenth of a second. The only thing they can never, ever, 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 ever tell you is the curvature. Not from New York to fucking California, not from Taiwan to fucking Greenland, not from Australia to anywhere. There is no such thing as curvature. It does not exist. It cannot be measured because... It doesn't exist. We have the technology to measure it. There's no figures on any map. No school children know the answer to these questions. It's never been asked on a test. It's not written in black and white. It's not in any textbook. It's not on any data bank, computer bank, NASA bank, supercomputer. Nobody has the answers to curvature on this earth does not exist. It's never been written down in any computer, on any textbook, on any piece of paper, on anything ever, thing, anything written or done by man. It does not exist. It's never been written down. What they will give you is a chart, a curvature chart, which never matches up. When we do the calculations, it's always 100% wrong. There's only one conclusion you can draw from this, and that is the Earth is 100% flat. Prove me wrong. Find me some fucking st uh, figures in some search engine. Ask your phone. Ask anything. Any, any goddamn search engine you want. You are not going to have an answer because it does not exist. Something that simple to calculate? Curvature? Really? It should take a less than a tenth of a second to find out the curvature from New York to California. Yet... It's an impossible question. Why is it an impossible question? Why, when it should be so simple, a child should know it, a child should study it, should be in textbooks, should be written on maps, should be written on any database, supercomputer, it should be written down someplace on this earth, and yet it's not written. The only conclusion I could come from that is it doesn't exist. And I think I'm done and fucking done.